Am I the asshole for not answering when my husband called to speak to our kids before bed? I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old so keeping them on a good sleep schedule is pretty important. Whenever my husband is away, he'll FaceTime with the kids for a little while. We agreed before he left that he would call at 6.30 p.m. my time as their bedtime is around 8 p.m. He called late from the start but he was always apologetic and said his meeting overran so I let it go at first. After the fourth time I told him I wouldn't answer if he called later than 7.30 p.m. as it was ruining their sleep schedule and he was calling later and later every day. I never answered when he called to speak to the kids for three days because he called after 7.30 p.m. and now he's angry at me even though I suggested he call earlier if that worked better for him as it didn't. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He has no respect for how hard it is to get little kids to sleep and for how exhausting it is every single night. I swear all these YTA answers cannot be parents or they're way past the age of getting toddlers to bed every night. It's exhausting. You don't mess with routine. Ha. Tell him you'll revisit the rule after he takes the kids solo for seven days. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Irresponsible to get the kids all worked up before bed. He should know the schedule and needs to respect the fact that the kids need routine. If he can't call at a reasonable time that's his fault. Would I be the asshole if I banned my son's boy crush from our house? My son, 16 male, has dated this girl, 16 female, for a year and half. We knew she never had a good home life. Her dad leaves for weeks even months at time. And the mom is always high and drunk and, and screams at her. Two weeks ago her mom got drunk, high and caused a small fire and wouldn't wake up. We told his girlfriend she could live with us. She was actually happy, in a good mood every day once she started living with us. My son just dumped her, said he likes boys. If that wasn't bad enough, he's bringing this boy that likes over to the house, he's talking about how much he likes him and how handsome he is, when she's just in the other room and can hear him. She's been in tears. Would I be the asshole if I banned this boy from the house? If that wasn't bad enough, stop. Stop right there. You are the asshole. I have nothing more to say. JFC. ETA. Op made clear that they referred to the breakup and not the boy. I apologized for assuming. It's in the comments. I made a judgment but have no problem recognizing I was in the wrong about the sentence. Am I the asshole for not allowing my sisters to come spend Christmas with me and my family? Throwaway account. I, 29 male, am my parents' only child together. My dad, 55 male, had an affair which resulted in a pregnancy and my mom left him over it. The woman had twin girls, Bella, 19 female, and Amy, 19 female and I deeply resented all three of them for many years. With time and therapy I was able to let go of most of my anger but I will never be close to Belle and Amy and just opted to be polite whenever I saw them or their mom. In a tragic twist of almost laughable karma it was revealed that the woman my dad left my mom for wasn't as true to him as she led him to believe and that Bella and Amy weren't his. It got nasty and they divorced when Bella and Amy were 16. My dad agreed to still be a part of Bella and Amy's lives at the time and so opted for 50-50 custody. However, after a health scare Bella decided she wanted to find and reach out to her bio dad and while my dad wasn't happy about it Bella soothed his worries when she stated that it would only be for medical purposes as she had no desire to have him in her life. My dad helped Bella find him and they had a meeting, and never said anything about it again. Unfortunately it was revealed that Bella lied and was still seeing her dad in secret and Amy eventually joined her. My dad wasn't happy about it and there was an argument, but when Amy brought up how it was their right to see their dad something and my dad snapped. He got quiet and told the girls that they were right and when Amy and Bella left to spend the summer with their dad and his family my dad put the house up for sale, moved all of Amy and Bella's things to a storage unit, deleted his social media, and changed this number. My dad sent a letter Bella and Amy to their mom's place explaining what he had done and that they had 30 days before he cut off all financial support, i.e. college funds, phones, etc. Saying that since their bio dad is so important that he can be their father fully. My dad hasn't spoken to the girls since and his side of the family is on his side thinking that Bella and Amy are ungrateful and just as disrespectful as their mom. Bella and Amy have reached out to me to help them see and talk to my dad again but I don't want to get involved nor do I even know where to find him. We just call, text, or FaceTime each other. My father finally reached out asking if he could come spend Christmas with me, my wife, our daughter, and my wife's parents and I agreed. 
I'm not sure how but Bella and Amy found out and told me that they were going to over too. Not ask, but told. I said no. I know that eventually my dad is going to have to have a talk with Bella and Amy but I don't want that drama at my house during my daughter's first Christmas. I told my dad about Bella and Amy and he said that he said everything he needed to in his letter and has no desire to talk to them. I told Bella and Amy that they are not welcomed and they, along with their family and friends are calling me Ta. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. This is not your circus. These are not your monkeys. You have no biological or familial relationship with Amy or Bella, and you're not obligated to provide the forum for them to have whatever conversation they believe they need to have with your father. Not the asshole. Those aren't your sisters. You are not obligated to let them in your life. Ignore them. Their mother was the first asshole for lying and then they became assholes for sneaking and lying to your dad. That's his issue to deal with and if he said he's done then he's done. Don't get involved. And don't let them in your house. Am I the asshole for uninviting a friend to my wedding so my boyfriend doesn't have to take care of him? Context. My boyfriend Freddy, 30M, and Callum, 29M, have been best friends since college. They were roommates and graduated together, and all that stuff. Me, 30F, and Freddy have been dating for six years and we are getting married next January. We're incredibly happy and we can't wait to have our fabulous wedding. We both deal with anxiety because we have very high profile, demanding jobs. So we agreed to have a small wedding, simple, relaxed and stress-free. I've shared spaces with Callum at my BF's family events, parties, and he hangs out with my boyfriend a fair amount of time. He's great. I like him. Here's the issue though. Callum does this thing where he sits or stands very still and stares into space for a long, long, long time. Freddie told me it's a thing called catatonia. I call that just zooming out, or dissociating as Gen Z said, edit, three different words. I was wrong. The problem is that my boyfriend usually babysits him when that happens. I mean, he stays right next to him the whole time. I thought it was like a cute, nice gesture, but on the day of our wedding, I mean, really? That sounds like the opposite of our dream day. He's even taller than my boyfriend, so just imagine a 6 feet 4 guy just standing in the middle of our reception, next to the groom, LMAO. Here's the conflict. I talked this privately with Callum, just me and him, and he agreed that he would be a distraction. He declined the invitation. I asked him to not tell anything to my boyfriend and he said he would be too embarrassed to say anything. I said, please don't feel embarrassed. I know it's not your fault, and we left it at that very friendly and politely. I told him he it is more than welcome to join us for our Christmas dinner, cause I know he's not close with his family, and like I said, I like him. I told my boyfriend that Callum declined and he was disappointed but he agreed that less guests fitted with our idea of a small low-key relaxed wedding, so it was still perfect. The next day I told my mom, my sister and my maid of honor, and they were visibly upset with me. My mom said it was an ass-holy move and that it was ableist, but I don't think that's true because it is not really a disability, edit. It is. I think it is more about his personality and his thing that I know is going to take a toll on my boyfriend that day. I want to make sure I was not a horrible person to pacify my conscience. Am I the asshole? Edit. I thought this subreddit was, I Ada, not, please send me D threats and wish the worst for me and my soon-to-be husband. Edited to correct what I said about his disability. That was ableist. Edit 2. Too much, well deserved. Hate today so I'll stop with the edits and replies. Just gonna say Fred is a loving person and I should be more like him. I owe Callum a huge apology, and my Fred deserves one too. Not just for my lie but also because I know he loves Cal. Should have known better. You are the asshole. Firstly, Callum absolutely has a disability so stop pretending you are not purposely excluding a disabled person from your wedding because their disability makes you uncomfortable. Secondly, telling someone who is a friend that their disability, which I am sure they are very aware of and have to live with, is an embarrassment and you don't want them at your event is such an unbelievably horrible thing to do. Thirdly, you then lied to your boyfriend that his friend had chosen not to attend his wedding, almost certainly making your boyfriend question this friendship. This is so manipulative I can't get my head around how you thought it was an okay thing to do to someone you apparently love. Honestly, there is so much premeditated arsehole here it's mind-blowing. 